melting into silver threads that weave through the red dust. In the pale sunlight, the surface glints like glass, each droplet a spark of motion in a world learning to move again. Ancient frost turns to water, whispering across the soil, tracing the memory of rivers long vanished. From the depths of silence, the frost-bound heart of Mars begins to stir. Pockets of buried ice rupture in sudden exhalations of vapor, columns of mist twisting skyward like fleeting storms. The surface quivers beneath the weight of ages, and from its wounds rise plumes that shimmer in the pale light of dawn. Each eruption breathes warmth into the air, where it lingers and coils, the long-held breath of a world remembering itself. The haze thickens, softening the scars of stone and canyon, until Mars lies veiled in its own awakening. For the heavens above are shifting, the balance between the sun and its wandering companion is renewed, and through their harmony, the pulse of life stirs once more. In answer, the red world exhales, a fragile mist forming an infant sky, the first whisper of air in 24,000 years. As the air thickens, the warmth deepens, and the planet's face begins to change. The iron-red plains darken, minerals stir where moisture lingers. A faint green hue emerges in the lowlands and basins, life returning in its simplest form, films of growth fed by light and meltwater. What was once crimson begins to blush with emerald, a color unseen here for many ages. Then. Almost impossibly, rain begins to fall. At first a whisper, then a steady rhythm across the plains. Droplets strike the ancient ground, darkening it with promise, feeding the green that spreads outward with every storm. From rust to jade, from silence to breath, Mars begins to live again. A quiet rebirth written in rain, in motion, in green. The planet that once watched Earth from a cold distance now begins to mirror it, to remember life. It is as if Mars has been holding its breath through the long ages of darkness, waiting for the sun to return. The red planet softens, its air thickens, its pulse strengthens. And on the eighth day, the day beyond days, Mars will cease to be our silent neighbor and rise as a living world breathing beside us once again. When the solar system finds its balance, so too do its planets. And in that harmony, Mars